Hey everybody, welcome back to Board Games of the Family. Um, I just wanted to do one final kind of wrap up uh, summary, if you like, of, of Mice and Dice and, and the experiences I've had with it. Um, firstly, apologies again for the components. Um, you know, again, please, please don't take that as the as an example of what you'll get. Go onto the Kickstarter page and you'll see how good the artwork really looks. Secondly, uh, I need to apologise as well for the very, very abrupt ending to the video, uh, the, the, the playthrough video. Uh, my son got a little bit overexcited and uh, my daughter was asleep in the next room and so when he started getting really over the top I had to kind of finish it very abruptly. But, uh, so what do I think of it? I'm not, I'm not going to review it as such because I've only played it a couple of times and I've only played it two player and therefore I don't think it would be fair to, to give it a real kind of detailed review. Um, what I would say is it's very fun. I think you can probably tell that from the from the run through. We we genuinely had a lot of fun playing. The the the, the fact about you're always invested in the game, um, you know, you're always watching those dice dice rolls, really really helps. I think when you're playing with children, but it also really helps um, just just build up that excitement factor. It, it's a similar feeling to to I get it with when I play kind of Elder Sign or. King of Tokyo, when you're watching what dice people are rolling and you're cheering or you're, you're um, uh, not quite cursing, but you know, um, booing when things don't go your way. Um, and I think that really came through. And I, and I think, you know, my son's reaction, you can probably hear in the game, particularly towards the end, um, was, was absolutely genuine. Um, it's, it's not the most complex of games. It, I think I mentioned it in the, in the rules overview. For me, this is the the next step on the gaming ladder. Once your child's got used to snakes and ladders, and, and you know the simple things that teaches, like you know taking turns and counting spaces, I think this does something similar, but adds in that little bit of of um, strategy with with the cards and when to play them, but also has this thing about they're always invested in the game. Uh, any thoughts? Um, obviously, some of the wording I think needs to be changed. I think I mentioned that at one point. The intention was um, that you wouldn't have a board. You'd have kind of scoring dials, I think. And therefore it kind of talks about gaining points and losing points. So I think some of that needs to be changed to, you know, go back five spaces rather than lose five points. Um, anything else that's wrong with it? It's, I mean, it's very, very simple. Um, and, you know, I think if you've got a slightly older child... Um, or one who's very used to playing games, this may not be that exciting for them. You know, they may have gone past this already. However, if you've got, I think, a family where you've got mixed age of, ages of children, um, I think this could be really good. You know, this is a game that, when my daughter's a li little bit older, um, you know, she could play quite happily with my son and, and my wife, and the four of us could all play. And I think because it's it's so luck dependent, um, it means it's, it's very good for children because, you know, it's. It's it's perfectly easier. Oh, sorry, perfect. Perfectly as easy for, as for them to win. That's terrible English. Um, it's <coughs> start that again. It's as easy for them to win as it is for them to lose. You know, it's it's not massively reliant on skill, and therefore it gives children a nice level playing field for which to play against either older siblings or their parents. Having said that, it's two player. Um, you probably saw in the video. I mean, we we got through a game in in just under twenty minutes, which isn't bad. Um, but yeah, there are lots of times when you're only playing with two numbers. It feels a bit yeah. There's a lot of dead turns. There's a lot of things where nothing's happening. Um, obviously, if you're playing with six or even four players, that's going to happen less often. Um, and I have kind of thought maybe with two players you could play with two numbers each, or you could do odds and, ze and evens, or you know one to three and four to six. But then the whole double thing I think would get very very confusing. Um, and to be honest, it doesn't play terribly two-player. Um, you know, I think just be aware that there are times where, you know, three or four turns in a row, I think we saw in the, in the run-through that, you know, just nothing happened. But it's so quick, you know, you roll dice, okay, nothing's happened, right, other player rolls dice. It is, you know, it's, it, it moves quickly. So even though you might have dead turns, it does move quickly. Um, I would like to play this with more players. I think that would be kind of chaotically really fun, you know, where almost any number that's rolled, people are moving all over the place. But genuinely, you know, it's 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 a it's a nice fun game, and the price point um, I think was eighteen dollars at the moment. Uh, I think it goes up to twenty two dollars on Kickstarter, and I think the retail will be twenty five dollars. Um, yeah, the, sh the the shipping charge is a little bit painful, but 
you know, it costs money to ship internationally. So you know, it takes it from being an $18 game to a $31 game for, for us in the UK, which, you know, I think at that price, I don't know what that works out to, £20 maybe. It's, it's not bad, especially if they can get all the stretch goal fundings to have the, the nice cool plastic mini mice and stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, I'm not going to say go out and buy it, I'm not going to say don't go out and buy it. I think the, the, the hopefully the, the gameplay video would have given you an idea whether this is something you would find enjoyable. But if you're looking for a board game that is suitable for young children, that's suitable for children who you know, aren't used to board games, etc., but you want something a little bit more inter in, um, interesting than Snakes and Ladders, you know, definitely check this one out. Anyway, that's all from me. Um, yeah, happy gaming, and I'll see you next time.